In today's video, we are talking all about aircraft call signs, what they actually are, why they are needed in the first place, and then lastly, I'll be telling you a few examples of these interesting aviation and aircraft call signs. So if you guys are ready, fasten those seatbelts because we are ready for takeoff. What's up fellow aviators and welcome back to the flight tuber, flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Ali Asghar and on this channel I talk about interesting aviation facts just like this video and aircraft knowledge. So if you are an aviation enthusiast and are interested to know more about aircrafts and flying, you might as well consider subscribing. Everybody has a name. I'm sure your parents might have given you beautiful names and the primary reason of a name is firstly it gives you your identity and secondly Anyway, anytime someone calls out your name, your head automatically turns, you look around who called you and you respond to calling out your name. Now, same thing happens in aviation as well. There are many aircrafts out there flying at the same time, aircraft from different airlines of different types at different altitudes, speeds, etc. And it's very difficult to keep a tap on uh, these aircraft. So each aircraft need a particular unique name, which is nothing but the call sign of that aircraft. Now, once an aircraft is given its call sign, what this helps is it helps to get the attention of the pilot and even if the pilot was listening passively to the radio even then his attention is attracted and uh, he will listen to the call uh, and the message given by the ATC controller. Now you and your friend might have similar names but aircraft call signs need to be unique and every aircraft fly flying out there has its own unique call sign. This is done to reduce confusion and it's clear that the particular message or transmission is intended for a particular aircraft. Well now you know what a call sign is and why do we need them and if you're thinking that half of the video is done <laughs> stay with me my friend let's continue and i'll give you the examples of call signs from different airlines etc in this aviation industry but before we continue uh, we are just about to reach a 500 subscriber mark and uh, once we breach that i decided to give uh, a small gift to this channel just a very small thing uh, but a creative idea i'll be bringing in that one in the uh, next video but i'd like to thank all of you and even though we are a very small channel and this is a very small achievement maybe uh, but still these small happiness and achievements motivate me further to make and continue putting in efforts to make such great and uh, you know interesting content and from my side what i can request you is to like the video share it with your friends and uh, and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already all right so back to the topic to start off with the call signs small general aviation and unscheduled aircrafts like the training flights for example use simply the aircraft registration as their call sign so for example if a training flight uh, was having the registration the aircraft was having a registration as vt abc for example uh, then the aircraft would simply have the call sign Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie and at this point I highly recommend you to watch my video on phonetic alphabets or pilots ABCD or whatever you want to call uh, I'll link that video up here and also down in the description so that you know how we as pilots pronounce all these alphabets now the next up is schedule operators or the airlines now if you were to count and consider the number of aircrafts among these airlines uh, indigo alone has a push of 250 aircraft for example uh, then the number would come out to be huge and if you were to continue using uh, aircraft registration as call signs the number would turn out to be huge and it would be a mayhem and a chaos uh, over the radio if we were to continue with the practice of using uh, aircraft registration as call signs. From the controller's point of view, a controller has to deal with many aircrafts at a single given point of time. And from the pilot's point of view, pilots fly different aircrafts or uh, different registrations uh, throughout their month and even they might have to fly different aircrafts in a single day if they are doing split duty for example. Now in this case it becomes really hectic over the radio and it becomes a huge chaos. Another important point here is that the pilots will have to listen more attentively towards the radio. They do listen to the radio attentively but what I'm trying to say here is that uh, the call signs would be very similar and the pilots will have to listen carefully to each and every message as to if that uh, message was uh, meant for him or not. And history has it that aircrafts have crashed in past because of distraction. The best example I can give you is Eastern Airlines Flight 104 wherein just a small light indication which happened only because of the light bulb uh, failure uh, led to the crash and a lot of fatalities. I'll link the uh, air crash investigation video down in the description. You can head over and check that interesting video out. Well, the bottom line is that we need a certain way wherein we can filter out uh, certain undesired calls so that we can also focus on our flying procedures. And as a solution, uh, the procedure goes that 
airlines have a certain fixed word as their call sign which is registered with ICAO and their uh, local regulator like DGCA in India and the airline uses this word as the call sign followed by the flight number in this way uh, the pilots of a particular airline can easily and safely disregard the messages intended for pilots of other airlines and also the call sign will still remain unique because the flight number is very different. Now usually the call sign is pretty straightforward it's just simply the name of the airline itself followed by the flight number. So for example Air India's flight number 123 will simply be called out as Air India 123 or Vistara's flight 658 will simply be Vistara 658. Other examples of airlines having call signs same as their airline name itself is GoAir, SpiceJet and TrueJet and another example is Air India Express which has just reversed the name with the call sign and the call sign goes Express India. So uh, an Air India Express flight 544 for example will simply be called out as Express India 544. Now these were the airlines in Indian domestic market. Talking about the international market, the examples of airlines having the call sign same as their airline name itself is Emirates, Singapore Airlines, Qantas, United Airways and uh, Japan Airlines and many more examples. But there are also airlines that have call signs very different from the airlines name itself. The best example is Indigo which has the call sign as iFly. So an Indigo's flight uh, 665 for example will be known as or called out over the radio as iFly 665. British Airways has the call sign as Speedbird which was named after the previous logo of British Airways. Uh, and also arguably certain people say that uh, it is named after the Concorde, the fastest aircraft which British Airways used to fly in the 1970s. Also, South African Airways use Springbok as their call sign, which is named after a particular type of antelope, which is found in southern part of South Africa. And other examples are China uses Dynasty as their call sign. Also, the AirAsia Group uses a lot of red in the airline. The uh, theme color of the airline is red, for example, and if you were to visit one of the offices, you will see a lot of red color. The aircrafts are mostly painted red and they have followed the same trend in the call sign as well. AirAsia's Malaysia branch, which is the main parent company, has the call sign Red Cap. And AirAsia's India branch, AirAsia India, uses the call sign Red Knight. And the Philippines branch of AirAsia uses uh, Cool Red as the call sign. Apart from this, there are also suffixes attached to the call sign depending upon the type of the aircraft, weight and its wake turbulence category. Now, I'll be making a video on wake turbulence and its categories, etc. in the videos to come. But for now, just understand that bigger, heavier aircrafts like Airbus A330, A350 or Boeing 777 or Boeing 707, etc. These bigger aircrafts require awareness and more separation from other aircraft and that is why they are suffixed as heavy. So, for example, if an Air India Boeing 777 aircraft was flying the flight number 123 for example then the call sign of the aircraft will be air india 123 heavy and there are only two aircrafts which are suffixed super due to their enormous size and hefty weight which is the airbus a380 the largest passenger airliner and the antonov an225 aircraft the uh, soviet union aircraft which is the largest uh, aircraft right now uh, but it is a cargo aircraft. Other than that, there are also air ambulance flights carrying passengers with medical emergency requiring priority and the call sign of such aircraft is prefixed as medivac. And if life wasn't in direct danger such as aircrafts transporting organs or transplant, then the prefix would be pan pan medical. Which reminds me that pan pan is the radio signal for urgency while mayday is the radio signal for distress. So, certain aircraft in distress might have changed their call sign and prefixed it to Mayday. Alright, so time for the question of the day. Apart from the call signs of the airlines that I have mentioned above, do you happen to know any other interesting uh, call signs of airlines? If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Well, that's it for this video guys. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and do subscribe to the channel. The button will be somewhere here. And also share the video and channel with your friends because we are just about 500 subscribers strong and there's a long way to go and I hope to build a big community and I hope that uh, my content and all this information reaches out to more people out there. I'll come up with a very interesting video very soon. Until then, happy landings.